Jitter is a subject that reaps a lot of interest, but not much understanding. However, it's become a bit of a buzzword in the hi-fi community, especially when companies are using the word as marketing fluff to sell you tweaks for your system. Essentially, jitter is timing errors in your digital audio signal. In this video, I will break down the different types of jitter, how it affects your system, whether it's audible, and how you can prevent unnecessary jitter contributions to your system. CD players, music streamers, PCs, pretty much all digital devices use word clocks. Word clocks work just like a regular wristwatch. You know, they, they keep track of time, acting as metronomes for the digital stream of information. The only purpose of a word clock's data stream is to produce a digital pulse that serves as a reference interval for reading a digital signal. This allows your DAC to process the signal. However, like all clocks, no word clock is perfect. Slight misalignments known as jitter are destined to be present in one way or another. Jitter is produced either when a digital signal is created from the analog recording or when a digital recording is reconverted into an analog signal for playback. A little jitter is always going to be there. According to many audiophiles and high-end audio companies, they claim that these digital audio errors could very well manifest themselves as noise or imperfections in the music you are listening to. That's their opinion. In a way, jitter is simply the outcome of taking a perfect interpretation of a piece of music and setting it in motion. Digital audio will always be burdened with minor imperfections. There are two types of jitter, interface jitter and sampling jitter. Interface jitter refers to the slight misalignment of the digital signal during the conversion from digital to analog. So basically what goes on in your home. Sampling jitter happens when recordings are digitized by an analog to digital converter in a studio, which is out of our hands, right? So when people say CDs have jitter, yeah, it's a thing that happens during conversion because unfortunately a perfect analog to digital converter does not yet exist as far as I know. So we will focus on interface jitter since that is the type of jitter we do have control over. Can you hear jitter? Is it audible? Usually it's not audible since you need to have a lot of jitter before you can even get the signal above the noise floor of modern music. According to many audiophiles, they claim that it's much more apparent within the upper frequencies if you do hear it. Or it could just be poor room acoustics. I don't know for sure because I have no clue whether it's jitter or something else. It could be a lot of different things. It's honestly a subjective opinion from the individual listeners. Most people are happy with what they have because they've arrived at that good enough phase in their audio journey, which is totally cool. There are several factors to consider when dealing with jitter and noise in general. The design and engineering of the product you are using is a significant player in whether your system will have a considerable amount of jitter. You want a device built to reduce the chances of imperfections within your system. Higher end offerings are made with these issues in mind and can eliminate most flaws. Then again, with the technology at our fingertips, most DACs, both external and internal, will generally make sure your music sounds great and that these slight imperfections won't ruin your listening experience. It will never be perfect on paper because of RF emissions and power supplies and just a bunch of other you know, factors, which will always cause a certain amount of noise in your signal. However, it, it is good to try your best to have a signal chain comprised of components that won't produce unnecessary noise or cause issues within your flow. That's all I have for you on Jitter for now, guys. If you'd like to continue the conversation, drop me a comment below because I'll respond or head on over to Facebook where you can join my private group, Hi-Fi Audio Addiction, because it is Christmas time. And if you are looking for an excellent gift for your audiophile friends or family, I have an online shop where you can purchase audio related t-shirts just like this one. Thank you for joining me. And I will be dropping another video later in the week on the Parasound A23 Plus amplifier. Take care, guys, and be safe.